Hello everybody, it's Jimmy Perry here from powerlifting.website, your go-to resource for all thoroughly researched beginning powerlifting information. And today I'm here to answer a question, which is really not a question, it's just a, um, something I saw and I was like, hey, let's do some research on this and it's 12 ways to improve your squat cues. Now, fair warning, I am not the person who wrote this. Um, someone else did research on this and I thought the research was pretty thorough so I'm like hey let's put this on here but if you find any misinformation because even though I go over it I'm still open to suggestions I'm a guy but I mean I have a lot of pride or whatever but I still think that um you know if you find something that could be improved why not improve it and the best way to do that is to take criticism from the people who are actually um, taking in the information and the content so yeah but um now before we get into the article though don't forget to check out the store we have the pl lever uh not pl lever but the pl wrist wraps we have the pl wrist straps <laughs> and the lever belt which i don't have with me right now but or the pl lever belt uh and also don't forget to follow myself and the business on social media and to do 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 Check out the post. This the link to this uh, article will be in the description of the video. Uh, now, first things first. I kind of went over it, and I'm just gonna tell you, give you a brief overview of this. I wish I had the person here who actually typed this, so they could give you the brief overview. And I actually gonna, I'm gonna do that. Not for this, but just that's an idea. Um, I got a little whiteboard here. I got a couple of them, but. I use these for like ideas I have on the fly. It's better for me to visualize stuff so I can uh, get people. All right, this is a sharpie, so I'm gonna wait. I'm actually gonna. But um, yeah, sorry about that. I had to write that up, write that down. But yeah, so I'm gonna just briefly go over it. First things first. Dude gave uh, it's a dude who wrote this. He gave six tips on how um six tips on how to um improve six cues you should go for when you're squatting. First one is grip the floor. Second, show, keep your shoulder blades tight, pushed back and down. So I think the same thing, same way with the bench press. Uh, next one is sit back, so you're not really leaning on your knees. You're sitting your ass back. And then next one, breathe into the belly. Breathe into the belly kind of goes first because you brace before you actually squat. I mean, I don't think you put these in order. Next one, keep your chest up. Next one, push the knees out. Um, that's another thing for me. Now, this is why I said the a huge thing for me was, and I thought this for a long ass time. You know, your knees are not supposed to go forward whatsoever. That's a fucking lie. Um, your knees can go forward. Just all the weight shouldn't be on the ball of your, like on the toes. It should be. If your knees are going forward and every, all the weight is on your toes, you're going to hurt yourself. And that's why I thought I was, my body just wasn't supposed to be squatting because all the weight was going on my toes and then it was going on my knees, subsequently going on my, it was fucking painful. But I figured that out and I stopped doing that. Uh, grip the floor, dude gave one tip. He said with your, I'm just going to go over one tip. I think he gives two for each one. But with your shoes and socks removed, <coughs> Squat 90 degrees away from any walls or obstruction as you're in this position. Imagine pressing your feet into the mud. This is actually pretty helpful when you're squatting. Because when I uh, actually press the weight up, it's a press. So when you actually press the weight up, you are digging your feet into the ground. So that makes complete sense. And then you want to, he said, as you do this, you should feel the bottom of your foot shift slightly until it is in full contact with the floor. Uh... This foot is already in full contact with the floor. But that's besides the point. Um, and then he says, hold the position for five seconds. Repeat this ten times. I guess it's going to help you get your body used to that mo that motion or the, to that feeling. Uh, next one, keep your shoulder blades tight. Um, I guess this, this is all about bar position on your shoulders. Another thing for me, which is another reason why I thought this was a good article. Um, first tip for this one is load an empty barbell into your traps, which is, I think that's low bar traps or low. Let's see. I think that's high. If it's, if it's right here, that's high bar. Low bar is right here. So load an empty barbell into your traps, and from here, grip the bar, align your elbows directly below the bar, and pull down. Yeah, that's uh, uh that's that's low bar. I don't do high bar. It actually hurts. But and I hold this for five seconds and repeat this ten times. Again, gets you used to the feeling. Next one is what the fuck? Sit back. This is about keeping your hips. I'm, and knees moving and keeping your hips and knees moving together 
So first tip is grab a footstool with an empty bar loaded into your back. Sit back onto the footstool. It's important to use a footstool rather than a chair or bar stool because of the height. Same thing as doing box squats. Um, it gets you used to sitting back. I understood this one. Now the focus on this is on hinging at the hips and sitting down on the stool instead of like kind of bending your knees. Hinging at the hips is bending at the waist instead of bending at the knee. And then you want to repeat this five or ten times, sorry. I don't know where you got these numbers from, but it's probably useful. I, yeah. Next one, breathe into the belly. This is about bracing your core. Again, put the barbell onto your chest, pull the barbell down, and squat into the bottom position. While in this position, arch your lower back slightly and breathe into your belly. Now, I don't agree with this one because you want to brace at you want to brace before you squat. So, no. I mean, he's saying breathe as you squat downward or squat the weight. I don't completely agree with that. I mean, you can breathe out as you press up, but when you're going down, you should already have that breath into your belly and tight abs. Fucking lie. Anybody saying hold this for 10 seconds and repeat five times? I shouldn't call this dude a liar because I put his content on my website, but yeah. Next one, keep your chest up. Basically, it's to get your hips and torso to drive upward at the same time. Tip for this one is load an empty barbell into your traps and squat into the bottom position. From here, put puff off, puff your chest and push it out. This is an exaggerated form of the chest out position. Oh, I get what he's doing. He's basically telling you what to do. He's not telling you what to do in the same step, with the same steps as you would do it in an actual squat. He's, this is kind of training. I should have known this. Huh? But um, so he's telling me, but hold this out, hold this for five seconds and repeat it ten times. And then again, he put like two tips and three tips for each one. So I'm just telling you one because this is a seven minute video. Next one, push the knees out. This is about positioning your knees as you drive forward. This is important. Um, tip for this one is squat down to the bottom position without weight or bar. From here, push your big toe into the ground and fully extend your legs and jump. That would definitely help. I can. I've never done this, but I can picture how that would help. Like with the squat, it helps you drive into the ground and uh, you know move that weight. So that makes sense. Like uh, place that weight up. What's the word? Distribute the weight of, um on your body. Enjoy. And that's pretty much it. If you want to check the article, I'll link to that will be in the description again. And if you like the video and the content that I've been creating, or like this video in general. Or specifically uh give it a like and a thumbs up you can see those buttons under this under like the box where the video is displaying and subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button and turn on your notifications and don't forget to check out the store all right you see from me not here for me next time all right peace